Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco F3 Redmi K40 also known as the Mi 11X. Now today we are talking about a step-by-step -step guide to install Corvus on this wonderful device. This ROM is based on Android 11 but somehow it has got a code name or you know the popularity saying that this is a gaming ROM. I don't believe in that but anyways we will see the step-by-step -step guide on how to install it and these are the steps but before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it's free it doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates us we upload every single day if you think you like chatting with like-minded people join us on telegram we have more than a thousand people over there you can follow us on social media like instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash Let's get going. So let's talk about this. What do we have here? We have Corvus OS version 17 Vanguard official based on Android 11 build date 31st of October. The device is a Mi 11X of course. There is a change lock for the ROM which is going to be really really long as you can see and if you talk about the change log for the device that is pretty substantial as well right as you can see they've fixed a bunch of things which makes the rom even more promising so what about the installation steps you need to have twrp installed you need to have an unlocked bootloader and a bunch of other things for example if you're coming from miui like i'm coming for this particular guide you need to make sure that you've backed up all your data your phone has more than 50 percent battery right because all your data will be wiped in this particular flashing procedure now once you've made sure that your device has an unlocked bootloader you backed up all your information you have more than 50 percent battery you need to go to settings you need to remove your mi account your google account you need to remove your lock screen your password your face unlock fingerprint everything and reboot your device once now once you've taken care of all of those you need to first boot into twrp and then we will go ahead and flash the rom so connect the phone to the computer using a usb cable as I've just done so. Now press and hold power button and click on reboot and press and hold volume down and power to boot into the fast boot mode. All right, now, as you can see over here, twrp dash Elliot in, this is the recovery we are going to flash. So go to rename, right click here and select copy. Okay, and over here in the address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. As you can see, now we need to verify first if the device is detected or not. So type in fast boot space devices. There you go, our device is detected. All right, now type in fast boot space boot space right click to load the name dot IMG and hit enter. You will see that the phone directly boots into recovery mode. Wait for the phone's recovery to load completely. It will take some time for the touch drivers to load. And you will notice that on the computer, the internal storage is detected. Now, what we need to do here is we need to copy the ROM file to the phone's internal memory. All right. Now we have the file copied to the phone's internal memory. So go to install, select the ROM and make sure inject TWRP after install is selected. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take about 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while the flash happens. All right, now as you can see, everything has been flashed. There are just two errors that I see over here. Backup, repack, This, these two errors can be ignored, right? Now the flash has gone through successfully. So what we need to do is go to the main screen, reboot and select reboot to recovery. That is reboot to TWRP. Okay, as you can see, we are booting into TWRP now. So go to wipe click on format data and type in yes. Okay, now format data is done. At this point, you can go ahead and flash Majisk. That's completely fine, but make sure install or auto inject TWRP is not selected. Now go to reboot and select system. Now the first boot will take time. So please be patient while that happens. As you can see, we already have the Android boot logo. That means the ROM is booting fine. Okay, we are on the setup screen. I'll quickly skip through the setup. All right, you can already see the Corvus wallpaper. If you go to about phone and Android version 11, you will see that Corvus is installed and it is working absolutely fine. So this is a step-by-step -step guide to install Corvus OS on the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. Let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful. 
Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.